Hi, my name is James Clem. The shape tool, I call it more of a morphing tool. We have anatomical and we have circular. Then we have two directional and then we have four directional and then we have auto, which is a combination of both. That can be a little schizophrenic as far as the auto section goes. So I usually use these tools on either four directional or two directional, but two directional is where I use it the most. Let's talk about the difference between anatomical and circular. Anatomical, think of that as global. It's either half or full tooth morphine. Okay, so half or full tooth morphine. Now, the circular is more petite. Now, you can still move a lot of wax and morph a lot of wax shapes with the circular, but you have the paintbrush size option, as you would see in the form tool. And the way we control that paintbrush size, and my favorite way to control it, is right mouse click and then move your trackball up and down and you'll see that orange glow representing the paintbrush size. It will enlarge and get smaller on you according to how you move your trackball. Once you get the size, then you can move that. Now, the other way to gain paintbrush size is in the side window under the shape tool. That just takes more uh, mouse movement. So I, I have a tendency to always use right mouse and trackball. So understanding that, I like two-directional because that helps me control my movement better. Now, the, the main time that I use four-directional is if I have an incisal or cusp edge that's out of alignment in the arch. I'll switch my tool action over to four-directional, use a larger paintbrush size, and just grab that cusp or incisal edge and move it into alignment of the arch. And it morphs that edge so you don't lose some of the nice anatomy that you have. Um, if you use the form tool, then you're, you're doing some major waxing and then that's gonna take longer to finish. So the value of the shape tool is that it's a morphing tool. It will preserve the morphology that you have in your teeth. It just kind of realigns and feathers and blends everything in. I think it's an incredible tool and it's good to know how to use it. Now, with the auto action would basically be when you're over the height of contour, I'll say this carefully because it gets a little confusing, but when you're over the height of contour with the direction of the restoration on the screen, when it's on the equator or the height of contour of the tooth or below the equator, height of contour of the tooth, then it becomes two directional. But when you're above the equator, of the tooth, it becomes four directional. And that can get a little confusing, even for me. And remember, I'm a simple guy. I don't like things too complicated, but I find that the two directional tool works really well. And I toggle between that tool and the form tool using my paintbrush size. That's how I use most of my tool actions. The most important thing is use your mouse and trackball to speed up your your process. You don't always have to go to the side panel. For instance, we can call on the tool wheel by just the right mouse click and that, that will automatically bring up the tool wheel rather than going over to the side panel. So just think in those terms. Once those become habits, then it's a lot faster in the software. I don't, I don't like to spend more than two or three minutes designing my restorations and then I'm on to the milling process. So the software will do that for us now.